All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today we're actually working on a do-it-yourself Faraday cage. All right, so we have solar generators, the portable power stations. We have comms, many different things like that. And we've made do-it-yourself Faraday cages in the past using five-gallon buckets, a whole bunch of aluminum foil, things like that. So we decided to team up with another company that is Faraday Defense. All right, they make Faraday bags, uh, bags for your cell phones, computers, solar panels. They also have material to make your own. And that's what we have here today. We have the Nest Z. It is a see-through film on this and they have different styles that you can, but the Nest Z one is the EMP proof material. So we also went and picked up some of the Faraday Defense copper taping because it's going to be working while we're building our our Faraday box. So what we got guys is our box here. It's got our solar generator. It's got comms, things like that. This is things that we're going to be trying to protect. So I'll go and pull things out here. I got our electrical for our solar generator adapter. I'm just going to show you the box right fast guys. All right. So we got just a box all right we trimmed it down that way it's nice and tight nothing's moving around stuff like that and we went and picked up grab one of our solar generators now as far as the foam and stuff that you're seeing here i just use this for padding just so i don't bust anything up if i happen to drop a box or anything like that that's all our padding is for so we'll set everything down in here just to keep that generator from getting smacked around while we put everything else in but we want to build just a cardboard box alone is not going to be good enough. We've got to have some type of protectant. And that's what this film's for, all right? This is their EMP film. They have a couple different styles there. This is their cheaper model here. It's like 17 bucks or something like that for a three yard sheet. So, this is what we got. This is what we're going to be working with. One of the reasons why we condensed this down. Now, you can buy multiples and build whatever it is that you want key is make sure you get the copper taping because when you seal this stuff up that will help keep everything out so I'm gonna empty everything out again I just pulled <laughs> put everything back in so we can get our measurements and start building this so I'm actually trying not to do too many cuts I'm trying to use the material as much as possible Main thing is getting your folds correct. If you can do that, if you're an expert at uh, Christmas wrapping, then you're going to be really good at this. All right. I'm trying to pull the material as tight as possible. Is it required? No, it's not required because the stuff is the same material used in a lot of the Faraday bags themselves, so it doesn't have to be super tight. But I want to get as much tightness as I can, so when I do the copper taping over all the seams, and we will, we'll be using copper tape on all the seams just to make sure everything stays nice and secure. All right, so we've got a lot of excess material here, which I was hoping for. So what we're gonna do, I will be trimming this. as straight as possible to the best of my abilities. We know how that goes. I am by no means a seamstress or a plastic cutter. And by the way, this isn't plastic. There's actually metal in these. I believe it's four or five layers of different type of materials in these um, this material here so even though it feels plasticky it's not should be a pop-up there guys for you on what type of material is actually in this should be popping up there for you and also on their website they also have that information if you want to take a look at that you feel free to do so 
Like I said, guys, we're just using electrical tape just to hold it in place while I get everything else situated here. I actually want to keep the same wraps as before. As much as possible, if I can. Alright. Alright, so we're just dry running it right now. Give us an estimate of how much we need to cut. This copper tape is not cheap. the copper taping all on the outside of the bag that way everything is secured there's no possible leaks or anything like that from anything from the outside so I'm going to put it on that side of the film first pulling the film tight Got our top stream there. We still got to go down the sides and everything, guys. And we want to make sure all these seams are taped up too. So now we can start removing some of this um, electrical tape on the outside, other than this top section right here. This way is protecting our this particular solar generator and our communications. Oh, well, that one radio. Yeah. Okay. So that side is now completed. We're going to move to this side here. We're going to do the exact same and seal it all up. All right, guys. So we have our Faraday box built. This is housing one of our solar generators, one of our portable power station. It is also housing our ham radio antenna and the power supply for the solar generator. Now let's talk materials and cost. Okay, so the Nessie 3 mil translucent barrier EMP protection material roll is a 36 inch by one yard roll. That's what we used here. We used the whole roll. Uh, that cost me $14.99 for the material. The copper taping, this right here, two inches by 30 feet, and we still got, you know, I don't know, maybe 12 feet left. Uh, that cost me $24.99 for the copper taping. So $39.98 for the material. The shipping cost me $9.98. So 50 bucks. We have a EMP protected. And it is the correct material to protect your solar um, generators. Whatever else you're going to put in this box. So it really depends on how large your box is. If you got a larger box, you'd have to get more material. Like I said, this particular material was... 15 bucks all right not bad uh, so 50 bucks we got a solar generator protected and also communication in here and it's safe we don't have to worry about chrono mass ejection we don't have to worry about an EMP this is safe in other words when I need power we've got power we have the ability to charge up stations and everything else and with our solar ability we can plug in solar to it and start charging with our solar so not a bad deal uh, to Faraday Defense. Definitely do appreciate you guys accepting my affiliate program um, application. Love your products. We're going to be getting a lot more of your products. And guys, here on the channel, we're going to be showing a lot more of their products. EMPs.
Corona mass ejection is one of the biggest scenarios that we prep for here on the channel. And having adequate protection, we're happy to do it. Um, I've done the tinfoil and stuff like that, guys. It only works for radio waves that I can do testing on. This is the actual material that is designed to protect against EMP. So if you want to just hang out with the uh, galvanized trash cans and stuff, that's on you guys. I'm taking the next step forward. I just told you what the price is, what I paid for it. I paid for this. This wasn't given to me. This is stuff that I bought because I like the idea of it, and it is the appropriate testing for it. And if you go to the website, you'll find out the information on that. Good material. That's how you start prepping. We've done the aluminum foil stuff, guys, for years, but we're taking our next level up. So, you know what, guys? Definitely do appreciate you hanging out with me. Hopefully, this information was valuable to you. Very easy to do. Like I said, I'm not the guy that wraps present during Christmas time. I will say this might be our last video, though. So, I just realized this is my wife's kitchen sh scissors, kitchen shears. I get in trouble all the time because I grab these and I'd be cutting paper and stuff like that. And um, I just realized I just cut all this copper taping with her kitchen shears. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Till next time.